Hey guys, Josh Thomas here, host of WeFolder.com. Welcome to a special three-part video feature that we're going to be running on the website, where we're going to be pimping out some rabbits in Rabbids Go Home through the customization feature. Uh, we're going to check out three ways to customize rabbits in this video. Be sure to check out the other two for even more. Let's jump into it. Okay, let's start off by making a dog. Uh, you can pretty much make any breed of dog you want. There's hundreds of them, but we're just gonna go with kind of a basic brown, cute, floppy-eared dog. And so I'm gonna make uh, his mouth area kind of a lighter brown color. Just make a nice circle around it. We're gonna move in, and of course, all dogs need a nose. I'm gonna put it just above that area, almost directly in between his eyes. And uh, we're gonna move on now and start adding some more colors. Let's give his front paws a white shade and maybe we'll give him uh, a darker shade just in front of that. His bottom paws will make this dark brown shade. And uh, we'll give him one eyelid, we'll color the dark brown, and then the ear across from that will make it that same dark brown color. Kind of doing a little mix and match on each side. So we'll make some spots. The other spot would be the opposite color of that. And uh, let's see, let's make a, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and make a spot over his eye, his left eye. Kind of gives it a cute little puppy dog look. We'll make a spot on his back. And then uh, let's give him a white belly. Again, you can make any kind of dog you want. We're just kind of, we're gonna go with something that's easily recognizable as a cute little puppy dog. Of course, we want to give him some paws. Just made one big dot and then three small ones. I think dogs actually have four uh, paws or feet, whatever you want to call those. But oh well, this is a cartoon dog. And then we'll just give him a cute little tail using this paintbrush right here. And I think what I'm gonna do actually is uh, flip it upside down, just like that. And uh, yeah, I think that's coming along pretty good. One thing I wanna do though, since this is a dog and we, um, we want him to have nice floppy ears, I'm gonna make his ears a little bit bigger with the oxygen tank. <laughs> and so that's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll move him to the side a little bit as well. So there we go, that's our cute little puppy dog. You can make any breed you want really, but that's a pretty good start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a kind of stereotypical greasy fast food worker. So I'm going to grab a pinkish skin tone and then we're going to move on. I'm going to give him a red shirt, black pants, and some gray shoes. Uh, you could really go any color you want but I'm going with a red shirt because maybe we'll kind of make him look like a McDonald's worker in a way. And then I'm just gonna grab a light shade of gray and we're gonna make some suspenders using the line paintbrush tool. Uh, you can take your time, try to make it as uh, straight as possible so that it looks nice. You could also make any color of suspenders you want. White would be probably pretty good if you wanna make them pop. And of course, once you're done in the front, we're gonna go to the back. Now with these uh, two in the back, try to make sure you leave some space in the middle because we're gonna draw something there in uh, just a minute. All right, so we got the suspenders. Uh, I'm gonna give them a yellow tie because obviously yellow and red, I think are pretty much McDonald's colors. And then on the back, we're gonna draw a little, uh, little cheeseburger logo. So we'll put some lettuce and maybe grab some mustard. Or maybe that's cheese, I'm not sure. Next, we'll make the meat patty. And then on the bottom, we gotta make our bottom bun. It's just kind of like a light orangish color, and then the top bun as well. If you want to add a little bit more detail, you could put some uh, sesame seeds on top of the bun. So I'll just grab uh, sort of a little bit lighter shade of uh, brown, and then I'm just going to make a little red line on the bottom to kind of make it look a little bit more like a logo or something. Next up, we are going to jump into the tools and start messing around with them. I'm going to give them little beady eyes. We'll of course shrink his rabbit ears and then uh, move them on the side to make it look like human ears. And then maybe we'll even make uh, his eyes a little bit closer together, kind of make them even stranger looking. <laughs> so there we go, that's looking pretty good. We're gonna jump back into the tattoos and paint a little bit more on them. Obviously one thing we wanna do is give him some hair. 
So I'm just going to use this paintbrush and kind of go all around and give him some uh, sort of a shaggy, greasy looking hairstyle. I picked black just because I think that's easier to convey kind of a greasy look. But you can pick any color you want. And of course I'm just shading everything in and, you know, messing around with it. You can take your time. Obviously making the uh, paintbrush bigger and smaller is going to make it look that much nicer. So uh, yeah, just mess with it until you get it right. You could leave him bald if you want. That could make it look uh, like he's maybe some weird bald manager. But we're going to put a hat on him so it really wouldn't even be seen. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do, of course, is give him some pimples. I just picked a pinkish shade, a little bit darker than the skin tone. I'm just going to go around and randomly give him pimples. I wouldn't add too much detail to the pimples, just make dots. <laughs> and then of course we're going to give him his burger hat. And there you go, he's a fast food worker. <laughs> All right, and finally tonight we're going to make a cyborg robot bunny. And so to do that I'm grabbing a kind of medium shade of gray, and then with a slightly darker shade of gray I'm spray painting the bunny to kind of give it a little bit of a rustic metallic look. You know, just don't want him to look, you know, one shade of gray if he's supposed to be metal. We're going to jump into the tools and using the pump I'm going to pop every one of his features, both of his ears and both of his eyes. So he looks, he looks kind of scary right now but I guess that's the point. Uh, now I'm just going to go in and start adding some detail. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a cog on his belly. So I grabbed a darker shade of gray and now I'm going to put a lighter shade of gray over that to kind of make it pop, make it look 3D. And I'm going to put a red light in the middle of this. So I grabbed a darker shade of red, a normal shade of red, and then a, a lighter shade, and then finally white to make it uh, shine a little bit. So it really kind of does look like a, a light bulb in there. Maybe that goes off when intruders enter his base. I don't know. Giving his gloves that same red look as well as his uh, boots, just so that he's not boring and all gray, kind of match the gray with the, uh, the red. And now it's really just a matter of going back and adding details anywhere you want. So I'm going to put a little vent on his back. You can, you know, make any sort of gadget you want on your cyborg robot bunny. So I'll make some lines going across. And then, you know, like I've said in a lot of the other videos, it always helps to add shading and a little bit more detail. So I'm going to put some shadows behind the bars. I think actually looking back, maybe I should have uh, darkened in the middle of that to make it look like it goes inside of him. But, uh, oh well. Go ahead and put some shading underneath it. And now just for uh, comedy purposes, we can add some little gauges on his butt cheeks. I used a hexagon shape for that. And now I'll put some screws in the middle. And all right, that's looking pretty good. Maybe make a little darker line to connect them together. Just add a little bit more detail. <laughs> so there we go, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna make some more screws to hold his gloves together with his arms. And um, I'm going to grab this metal plate, maybe put that on the side. It's a darker shade of gray, obviously, but one maybe going up his neck. And uh, some smaller ones on the front, just for some more detail. Okay, moving on, I think I'm also going to make a big metal plate on his head, the very top of his head, that would keep his brain and circuitry in order. And then maybe somewhere his ears would go as well. It's really just a matter of messing around and, and making it the way you want to. I'm going to make a sort of a cog on the back, but not going to as much detail. For the eyes, I'm using a screw, and then just for the fun of it, maybe for the other eye, we'll make it look like it fell out. So a darker shade of gray and a slightly lighter shade over that. Uh, maybe he was poorly assembled. And then finally, we'll just grab this uh, tattoo. It, look kinda like, it looks a little bit like circuitry, and we'll put that in there. And so yeah, there's a, a quick cyborg bunny.